Hey guys, today we're going to be reviewing the original Blender bottle. This is a zero hassle protein shaker bottle. There's no cords, no batteries. There's just a little metal ball in here that you guys use to mix up your protein powder. We've personally have gone through a bunch of these over the past few years and I just grabbed a new one and I wanted to show you guys what all it comes with and we'll even do a quick test. And I'll even show you guys a little trick that I've learned over the years on how to best clean these and it's also the fastest way to clean them. So the packaging is really simple. All you guys really need to take apart is that plastic piece up there, and then you guys will probably want to clean this out. As soon as you guys open it up, you'll definitely smell just a little bit of like plastic. It's like that smell that new plastic has. I don't know how to describe it, but it smells like that right now. So as soon as we're done like going over everything on this bottle, I'm definitely going to rinse it out before a test. So there's a sticker on the side here that says that it is BPA free. Always like to see that. And then we have a pretty cool design. The bottle's not quite like see-through. So if your drink looks kind of gross, no one's gonna see what's in the bottle. We also do have some grips on the side. And of course, that uh, metal ball that I was talking to you about. So this is how it's all gonna get mixed up. You're gonna drop this in there with your drink. And whenever you guys put the lid on, you can just shake it up. I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna be super loud right now since I have no drink in here yet, but that's how it works. The lid's pretty simple as well. You have a little hook right here so you guys could attach it to your backpack or whatever. And then the nozzle or the lid, you can just pop it off. So there's no twisting motion, but it does really lock on there pretty well. So I've never had an issue with it coming undone accidentally because it's a pretty tight fit. Sometimes the silicone rings on other ones are easier to get out, but that silicone ring on the inside here is really in there. So it is hard to get out for cleaning. So I just usually take some extra care and rinse this area out just a little more carefully. Anyways, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out and then we'll do a quick test and I'll show you how fast you guys can mix up your protein drink. All right, so we just cleaned it out with some dish soap and water and it smells much better now. So I went ahead and already put about like five or six ounces of water in here. I'm gonna make a really small batch with this protein powder here just to show you how well it mixes up. So of course the metal ball is in here. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the lid and I usually like to hold the lid while I shake just in case. So you guys should be able to hear the metal ball kind of springing around there and we're probably about done already. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look yeah, I think that's done. So let's go ahead and pour the drink out. I'm actually gonna keep the lid on for this. Otherwise that ball might come out while I'm pouring. So here's what it looks like. Nice and smooth. And we only mix that for all of maybe 10 or 15 seconds. Let's go ahead and see if it tastes smooth. And yeah, I don't really taste or feel any clumps in here at all. So overall, this thing mixes really well. It's very surprising how fast you guys could mix your drink just with that little metal ball. So after going through a bunch of these over the past few years, I still love these things and they do a great job. And that's just my really quick review of this blender bottle.